Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Sunday, March 5th, 2017 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, as above, so below, the path for me is that of mastery. <laughs> and today we've got an interesting Astro Day. I say that every day, but I find it so fascinating. This is why I do what I do. Um, and I was getting downloads in my sleep. And the downloads that were coming in my sleep Kept getting this picture of the sailboat and in the sailboat were it's kind of almost a biblical scene you know the scene with the storm and they're like Jesus oh my god we're gonna die in a storm and he's like have you no faith <laughs> like do you not realize who you're with like you're cool it's it's all good it's chill and that's kind of the energy that's coming up so we are doing a lot of worth work we have both Venus and Jupiter which is in Libra the sign ruled by Venus retrograde both of those energies are feeding into our worth and both of them are taking us within. And that's really what I'm feeling this energy with today is like, okay, you know, we do the work. We do the worth work. We're like, okay, okay, I'm learning my work. I'm learning my divinity. I'm learning who I am. Okay, where's, <laughs> make it rain. <laughs> Thank you, universe. You know, where, where is, where is the outcome? Okay, I don't believe anymore. I'm giving it up. Digging up those seeds. I don't believe anymore. Whatever. Going back to ordinary life. And it's this process that we cycle through over and over and over. I have faith. I can't trust the faith. And we go back and forth. And there really is a reckoning, I feel like, today with this energy. We have that moon in Gemini making many connections, including to both Venus and Jupiter today, helping us shift this and helping us get straight in our mind. Taking the monkey out for a walk. See this monkey which is about to pop that balloon where we're juggling all these things? I have faith, I don't have faith, I have faith, I don't have faith. Monkey is going for a walk today. So this moon in Gemini begins the day actually by connecting with Venus, 13 degrees evolution revolution newly retrograde um in aries so this is like hey have you yet remembered who you are are you still clinging to this belief i am i am this lovely mane of hair i am my eyes i am the shape of my body are you still clinging to those things or have you realized beneath it all and it's even beneath like i am a mother and i am um, a wife and I am an astrologer it's even beyond those things and it's it's deeper even than like I am love it's like I am everything have you recognized that yet I feel like this retrograde is taking us back into that magic of source I've been talking about that for days taking us back into recognizing who it is we are so it's gonna be a process I mean we're just new at this but I want you to contemplate that so as you're contemplating that on that level we have the moon squaring mercury also 13 degrees that revolution evolution degree mercury in Pisces and this might be where those questions are coming up well how do I know how do I know that I'm really this master how do I know that I'm really this universe within and that's where we've gotta like you know do some of this shaking off or <laughs> we gotta do some of this breakthrough energy you can't know it and understand it here and this is part of the problem is we keep trying to understand all these things here and this the mind I don't want to discount it it does such a great job but we get trapped here and that's why we've got to take that monkey out for a walk um, as above so below the path for me is that of mastery this is because <laughs> as above so below pulling this energy within and getting in here with it. It's not just good enough to say that you have faith. That was part of these downloads. A lot of us can say that we have faith and then our thinking and our actions indicate otherwise. And again, I'm not saying don't act because, you know, actions are part of the process and thinking is part of the process. You've got to do both. But a lot of times like, I have faith, I have faith, I have faith. I'm saying this on the outside. Meanwhile, like, I don't know how I'm going to get through this. I don't know how I'm going to work this. And you're, you don't have faith. You have fear within. So it's recognizing the discord that's happening there and seeing how you can really maneuver yourself into that faith energy. Um, one of the things that's coming up through this energy, you must now you know, live what you have been reading about. You must now live what you have been talking about. Sham said that to Rumi, you know, as Rumi's sitting there writing these discourses, like, but can you live it? You can say it. You can speak it. You can, you know, tell people this till the cows come home. But are you actually 
doing this? Are you being this? Are you being the faith? And I'm really feeling that through these retrogrades, we are going to be called upon, it's 444 right now as I'm recording, <laughs> angels helping us, we will be called upon to have this faith, to be this faith, to be this master that we all are. So as the moon continues through the day, we have the sun squaring the moon, 15 degrees. That's a six. This is balance. I love it. One is um, heart energy and five is the mind. Finding the balance, finding the harmony in the mind and the heart, finding that balance and then moving from that balanced place instead of always moving from here. I feel like so many of us, we're like on a string moving from like our brain and it's like, no, this isn't how we want to do this. This isn't going to serve you. What I love today supporting us. So we have the first part of the day, which is all the squares, which is the confusion. Like, ah, I don't really know. And, you know, starting off with that monkey energy. Monkey that needs a walk. But then I think that we decided to take the monkey for a walk because <laughs> Mars will try and Saturn. Um, so there is Mars taking that action in Aries, knowing its passion, embracing its passion, and be like, it doesn't matter how it turns out. In this moment, I am. In this moment, I am being, doing, let, letting the beauty I love be who I am. Um, and that meeting up with Saturn is actually Saturn's just about to switch, it's switching through the day from 26 to 27. So this is like the last connection with Saturn at 26 until it goes retrograde later. Um, 26, that eight, how are you showing up in your beliefs? And here is this opportunity to apply faith. Are you applying faith in your actions or are you applying fear? Where is your action coming from as you take your movements. You must now live what you have been reading about. You must now live what you have been spouting about. You can't say you have faith when you're not allowing faith to be the process that you're moving through. Moon will trine Jupiter. That's going to help this process. That's going to help that self-love. Jupiter is now at 21 degrees, increasing our energy of self-love, expanding the self-love process. And I think self-love is such an important uh, energy of faith because you know it's that Marianne Williamson poem who are you not to have and allow this beautiful energy that you are to infiltrate and expand into the world allowing this ah here this is allowing the breakthrough the breakthrough the expansion of yourself so that you can participate as you as you are as this light that you are once you get past these energies, um, bridging, you know, bridging heaven and earth in yourself. And I'm going to get more into that. I'm really excited about the other card I have for you. And coming into that mastery. The moon will then connect to Uranus, 22 degrees, more of that revolution, evolution, more of the shifting, more of the, I feel like this will be like aha moments of like understanding who you are. They may come in ahas here, but I feel like they are going to integrate energetically and electrically through you. So watch for those ahas and see how you can, move with them. Even if you're moving with them, it's just simply walking down the hallway and moving with that intentional, I know who I am. Wow, and this feels good kind of thing. Final aspect of the day, moon opposite Saturn. Saturn now at 27 degrees, that nine, embracing the passion, looking at our belief at that at this passionate energy and not getting swayed by the mind being like, well, is this practical? Does this make sense? Blah, blah, blah. All those things that the mind likes to do. We don't need to be pulled apart by these things. Instead, we can bridge these energies, bridge these gaps. And that's part of bridging, I feel, the yin and the yang within us. And I love this because we have the yin right now moving within as Venus is retrograde and the yang is like full speed ahead. He had his inner time earlier this year um, when we had uh, Mars, Mars retrograde. You know, that's when the yang did the inner work. Right now it's time for some yin inner work. So they're moving in this direction and helping us open the gap of our center for the breakthrough into mastery. I hope this all makes sense. But this is the funniest thing. Okay, so fairy tale, inner child, fairy tale, tarot cards. And I pulled the emperor's new clothes, which is the emperor card. Um, but then as I'm sitting there holding the deck, the top card flips, flips completely um, and exposes Gaia, guardian of crystals. But this is the Gaia card. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, it's everywhere. This, this whole bridging this energy, making sure you're taking care of both things. The emperor to me, this represents, it's funny because Pisces energy, you know, 
has a very feminine energy to it. It is that flowy thing, but it also can get into that spiritual energy, the spiritual authority energy. And that's what I'm kind of getting from this emperor who has no clothes. And you, if you are taking the spiritual authority, but you are not physically living it, like Gaia asks us to live it, you know, on this physical earth, um, then, you know, you're the emperor who has no clothes. <laughs> you're the person, you know, walking around being like, look at my clothes, and you're not really wearing anything. And in some, you know, instances, that's kind of vulnerable, but that's not really like the theme of the story. You know, the emperor is greedy, unaware of his surroundings, blind to the folly of his self-centered ways, a dangerously foolish representation of humanity. And so we don't want to be that by not walking our talk. We want to be grounded and real. And this is where we've got to make sure if I'm saying that I'm going to have faith, the universe is going to be like, okay, you want to have faith, here you go. So live, live these things and trust the things and keep moving accordingly in that, in that energy. It's not, they're not meant to pull you apart. They are meant to, which is funny because I said they're expanding us, but they're expanding us. They're not pulling us apart. They're not destroying us. They're asking us to come together. Body, mind, I. Oh my God, all these cards, they so fit. Body, mind, spirit, soul coming together in union. That's Pisces, union, so that we can move together as one in and through this energy. So, whew, this is good stuff. This is really good stuff. Don't let your monkey mind take you for a walk. Take your monkey for a walk in faith, in grounded faith, in a place where you're like, I know what I've been learning, and I'm going to live it. I'm not going to just spout it. I don't want to be a talking head. I don't want to be the emperor with new clothes. I'm going to live it and just see what kind of shift that makes in your life. Often, it's just those little commitments that just make fabulous shifts in our lives. So that is it for today. Book a reading if you would like to dive in deeper into your chart, and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.